Hello and welcome to Yoga Studio 9. I'm Sarah Sutton and welcome to your 60 minute yoga flow practice. So as you can see, I'm seated comfortably. You can go ahead and come onto your mat and cross your legs. You can open your palms, roll your shoulders up and back. And begin to softly close the eyes, breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Just taking a few moments here on your mat to sink in with your breath and bring some quietness around you. So we begin by keeping the eyes closed, but just wiggling the fingers, the thumb, keeping that breath soft through the lungs. And now start to wiggle your toes just waking the body up. And you can keep your eyes closed the whole time here and just work on your breath. And softly still the fingers, still the toes, and open your eyes. And let's come to Downward Facing Dog. So planting the hands, shoulder widths distance apart, Playing the feet, hip widths distance apart. You're going to press your energy down through your fingertips and then drop your head. So as you can see, my legs are a little bit bent. Get a nice generous bend through the legs, touch down through the knees, and then pull yourself back up, downward facing dog. So you can see how that helps everything to get realigned through the spine. Because what happens is that people come into this pose and they look like this and they're looking around and if you can just imagine inverted V shape with the body. And then you can walk the dog out. So stretching the back of the hamstrings, you're going to bring your two feet together, dropping the heels down, press through the fingertips, look forwards at your thumbs, and roll your body forwards. So you, you can see I'm engaging through my belly button. I'm tightening in through the core. And as I come into this high plank, my elbows roll in and the eye of the elbow rolls out and then you can just take the two eyes to the floor and extend through the neck. So moving forwards and backwards, try to stay on the tippy toes. If this is too much, if your core isn't quite ready for this yet, you can drop your knees down, but leaving those shoulders right over the wrists. And again, downward facing dog with your feet together. One more time, come forwards. Forwards and backwards, pressing through those fingertips. And downward facing dog. Bend your knees, look forwards, and walk yourself to the front. So you can take your time here. Just really lifting through that core, coming forwards. And then coming to the front of your space, separate your feet hip widths distance apart. Bend through your legs. Drop your navel in towards your thighs. Drop your chin. Take opposite bicep, and here you just hang, dropping left and right. So this is actually relaxing the lower back. You can ground through your heels. So feeling a really nice sway here. Your arms are heavy, your head's heavy. And then release your fingertips to the floor. Bring your feet together. So you can see my toes are lifted the whole time. That just keeps you really connected to your feet. And then begin to roll your body up. So the last thing to come up is your head. And you're going to reach your arms high. And exhale, fold forward. So notice my spine, it's straight. My back is straight the whole way. My hips are moving back behind me. And then I bend my legs, taking my fingertips to the floor in line with my toes. Bend the legs, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, feet back to that high plank position. So the same as before, except for this time the feet are separated. So we're gonna go high plank to low plank. Elbows come in, upward facing dog. So just do the best you can. Go ahead, look up. And downward facing dog. We're just warming the body up. Bend your knees, look forwards. Walk just like we did before, or you can float to the front. Halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, come back up, rise. Exhale, fold, keep that straight back here. Your heart's reaching forwards. 
and then bend. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold, hands down, feet back, high, low plank. Now stay here in your low plank for just a second. Let's just do a little inspection. So look back, see your toes, your knees can be down, that's fine. If your knees are up, your elbows are in. So your hands are actually moving back towards your toes and your toes are pressing down and forwards towards your hands. And then upward dog and downward facing dog. So bring your feet together, lift your right leg up. Take a breath, look down, look down at your toes. Look up, see your knee. So the right leg's lifted, try to lift it up a little bit further. And then as you come forwards, you're going to use all this control through your core as you bring that right knee to the outside of the right arm and then back. Okay, inhale, come forwards, right to the outside and then exhale, take it back. So two more on your own. Inhale forwards, exhale back. See my left heel's dropping down. So inhale forwards, exhale back, and left heel drops down. Step the right foot forwards so that you're in this low lunge. So catch up with your breath. You rock your hips left and right. Look back, see your left toes, press them down into the mat. And here we're just going to come up. So this is a high lunge. You can drop the knee down. Or you can stay in your high lunge. We're going to open the arms straight up. And then we're going to open warrior two. So you might not have much strength in this leg. So if this leg is more like this and that's where it needs to be, that's fine. We just don't want the knee on the inner side edge of that foot or the outer side edge. We want it tracking right over the center. Whew, and the arms are going to come out. Open the right palm and reverse your warrior. Three breaths, looking up. Now here you want to feel the rib cage separating, the fingertips reaching back behind you. So I see in my classes a lot of times that people scrunch their face up here. So try to just relax all the muscles in your face and breathe and release. Taking the hands all the way to the floor. So slow motion, taking the hands down coming up onto the ball of that left foot, and then stepping back into your downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Always in your downward facing dog, feel free to move your hips, move your arms, so it doesn't have to look so rigid. You can have a flow to it, you can have movement to it, because this, this is your rest, this is active rest. Okay, so let's do that whole thing on the other side. Lifting through the left leg, lift. And then pull the knee to the outside of the arm. So you can see my left toes are engaged. And then extend it back. Inhale, come forwards, active through your hands. Exhale, back. Two more. Inhale, forwards. Exhale, back. Inhale forwards, exhale back. Now you're going to come forwards through the left foot. High lunge here, get it set up. Rock your hips left and right. So if you're grounding down through your foot, you're pressing the energy of that leg towards the floor and then pull back through the left hip, you can feel it all underneath into the hamstring. You're going to take the arms high. So you'll get it back for you this time. You're going to go warrior two. So once again, tuck that tailbone underneath you. The left leg, I mean, it doesn't have to be, we don't have to be so low in this. You can keep the leg bent just a little bit if that's, what's, if that's where you're at in your practice. And then reversing your warrior. Looking up. Stretching back. A few more breaths here. You can even... Drop that right shoulder underneath and try to open more through the heart. And then here, you can deepen the left leg. Active.